In this quick video, I'll show you how you can transfer photos and videos from your Android phone to your computer. To do this, we're going to be connecting our phone to the computer through a charging cable. So the first thing you want to do is you want to plug in your cable into the USB port into your computer and then plug in your phone to the other end. Once you've done that, your phone may connect automatically. If it doesn't, it may give you some options to choose. It may ask you if you want to transfer files, transfer images, connect to MIDI device, charge the phone or charge connected device. Those are the options that appear on my Android phone, but they are going to differ for different phones. You need to choose transfer files and then you should get a box pop up which should show your phone's files. If you don't get this box pop up and if your phone doesn't connect, the chances are you need a new cable. So I'll leave a link in the description below to a cable that I'm using for my Android phone. It's a high quality robust cable and it does the job perfectly. So what you want to do is you want to then go to phone and here you'll have all of the files in different folders which are on your phone. If you want to go ahead and find photos and videos, the chances are they're going to be in DCIM. So if you go to that, you can then see more folders inside that folder. So you've got camera, Facebook, I've got a folder called hair, video example, and so on. I can then go and click through these folders and copy individual videos and pictures. For the sake of the video though, I'm just going to go inside video example. and I'm just going to copy two pictures of food. So what you would do is you would go ahead and select the photos or videos you want to send to your computer. Right click and then copy. And then you can find a location on your computer to save them to. So I'm going to go to my D drive and I'm just going to head and go ahead and paste them in here. So click paste. And then we have now saved those pictures from our phone onto our computer. And that's all you've got to do, guys. I hope that video helped you out. Remember, there's a link down below to a cable that I'm using for my Galaxy S8. I hope that video helps you out.